Hey guys, thought I would try something a little different today and I thought I'd put the camera on the edge of my bed and talk to you guys today. Uh, I got the little kids around. There's Hannah sitting there, there's Ethan sitting there, there's Matthew sitting there. I will prove it to you. There's Matthew. And there is Ethan. And there is Hannico. Right? Yeah. Now Hannah, since she was born, we made a song of... Well, not since she was born. Kind of, though. Because Ethan... Ethan couldn't say Hannah. Nina. So he would say Nini. 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 Actually, before Hannah was born, he would call bananas Ninis. So when Hannah was born, we didn't even think about it. Nini. But when Hannah was born... Uh, we figured out that he would call her Nini because he he couldn't say Hannah. Um, I don't know what I can do that would be comedy. I'm, I've been told that I'm one of the funniest guys that people have ever seen before, and I do goofy things all the time, but it seems like some you know I can't ever get it on video. So, But I am a really funny guy, and I love acting and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm a really good actor. When I go and do uh, scenes, when I do movies or commercials or something like that, usually they only have to take one, one scene, one cut, just done. Um, they'll work with guys all day long, and then they'll come to my scene at the end of the day, and they'll just go, and I'll do it, bam, done, one cut. That's, I've been, I'm well known for that when I go do stuff, especially with my voiceovers and stuff like that. I'm constantly doing voiceover work at radio stations or something like that. When I was in... Um, when I lived in America, I was a DJ for a couple of years at a radio station. 99.9 KISW. More pure rock, no useless talk. 99.9 KISW. I've done a lot of stuff. Uh, bowling alleys, uh, malls, Future Park, Ronsick Mall. Welcome. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Cartoon voices, uh, energy drink, uh, Heineken. When you go in and watch the movie, the THX sound is brought to you by Heineken, and I would do do all the voiceover acting and stuff for the little, you know, whatever they did. And pretty cool. I love doing stuff like that. So I'm I'm pr still pretty active in that. If, as as much as they call me and ask me to do stuff for acting, TV commercials, I have a lot of stuff on YouTube that you can see in the video section. Uh, but uh, I, it's hard to get a lot of my stuff that I've done, all the samples and different video cuts and full-length commercials. And I've been in a bunch of, uh, I've been in a couple of uh, music videos. I've been in a, a bunch of TV commercials and stuff. But it's hard to get copies of some of that stuff. And I don't have anything that I can download straight from TV. So I just sit there and watch it from TV and download it. I don't have anything that'll do that. So whatever I can get, if I can contact the the production company or something like that, and then they'll email me a copy of the commercial or whatever whatever it is but um so sometimes i'm fortunate and i can get stuff like that so you can see some of the some of the stuff that i've done over there and uh as far as audio and stuff like that um voiceover stuff um i don't have any copies of any stuff any of that stuff it's hard to get your hands on but uh i love doing stuff like that i love entertaining people i love acting and stuff like that so as much as i can get where I can do stuff like that. I really like it. Um, I really want to appreciate right now I only have 10 subscribers on my channel. And I would love to have thousands and thousands and thousands. We are family. We really are trying. We really want to um, be very productive on YouTube. Um, not for fame and glory, but because we just like to show show people our, us. You know, and We like to entertain and stuff like that. And I don't have a lot of... Uh, material or anything so nothing scripted and i try not to edit anything or take anything out or you know stuff like that i just like to show show us and uh we've been outside quite a bit and i've, I've kind of tried to show you some different things and stuff um we're going to start taking video when we go shopping so that you can see the comparisons between certain products that we have in the united states and products that they have here and the price the price differences you you would be amazed at how much cheaper or more expensive some things are here um, like toothpaste in America like Colgate toothpaste I can buy a huge tube here for a dollar and in the States it's probably like two ninety nine or three dollars or something like that three three something I don't even know how much it is because I've been gone for so long I don't know but there's a it's a huge difference in a lot of things um, of course imported stuff from the States or Europe or England and stuff like that um, it's a lot more expensive here because it's imported, but stuff that is, you know, 
everyday use and stuff like that, like toothpaste or or certain things like that. When I first moved here, we could go to McDonald's and we can get a whole meal for about a dollar and a half, and that's like super sized fries, Coke, uh, Big Mac, everything. It was the whole meal was like a dollar and a half, and now it's like over four dollars. So everything inflation has has hurt Thailand big time, and and I don't know how Thai people can do it because most Thai people earn such a small salary. So, oh. Is that her? Is that you? I think I just farted. Does it stink? Stop smelling my butt. Can you put your bag in I'm videotaping right now. I can't do anything right now. My cousin, uh, the other day, I was going to put it on our Easter video because I was just trying. But I've never actually saw myself do it. But the other day, they took video of me doing it. And, or Sang, Sang took video of me doing it and um i did the when i was younger my cousin used to call uh this the the eye the eye you can see the future out of and i figured and i I saw myself do it the other day and i think it's funny and uh i I can i can do cross-eyed right most people can do their eyes cross-eyed but i can keep my eyes cross-eyed and then move one eye away So it's kind of funny how it can, I don't know if I just did it or not, but it's hard to do it. It makes your brain trip out because you keep one eye in and you can, and I don't know if I can do both eyes. I would love to be able to make both of my eyes go really weird, but I can't, so. I have video of it. I go like this, go straight. Okay, I'll try to add it at the end of this video if I have, if I have enough time. I'm not sure if I will, so no promises, okay? Anyways, please, please. Please rate us. Please subscribe to our channel. Please leave a comment. People are not leaving comments very much. We've only got a few comments tops, maybe 10 altogether. Um, We really want to cater to you guys. So we will do whatever you guys want us to do um, as long as we're not going to get in trouble doing it. But as far as acting, being funny, showing you what, maybe you have something that you want to see. We'll travel to, we'll travel there and show it to you. I'll get it on camera and show it to you if, if it's not on YouTube already. So, I mean, we can do stuff like that. I don't mind catering to you guys because um, you guys are our friends and we, and we love all of you very much. And um, so, that's basically all I have to say for today. And uh, my goofy wife. You can see how big I am and how small she can like I'm like a jungle gym for her. She can do whatever. I can get all three of my kids and my wife jumping around on me. Oh, now she's walking on my back. I am, and that doesn't even affect me. Barely affects my breathing. <laughs> she can stand on my lungs and I can still function fully. So she's she's a little monkey. So yesterday she did her Pat Thai video and she had, we had a really good time. I want to tell you the story of what happened. That big loud clanging noise at the end, the blooper that we did. Um, about six times I, I, would, I tripped over a big huge walk on the floor. Um, I would start the camera for her and then I would try to slowly walk out of the frame. But every time I did it I kept kicking this stupid huge pan, this big freaking walk that was on the floor. And we were lucky enough to get it on camera, so I put it at the end of the video. But that's what happened. I pushed the camera on so that she could start and go, Hi, today we're going to make Pat Thai for one of our friends. And as she, as I turned the camera on and was slowly walking out of the frame, bam, I hit that stupid pan again on the floor. So that's what happened. We tried to take that video about six times. Start when we were starting, and I kept hitting that stupid pan. So... That's what happened. That's why it happened that way. So I was trying to creep away slowly without making any noise or too much shadow because I'm such a big guy. If I stood in the window, people would think that there was an eclipse. That's how big I am. But mm, mm. Got smaller, I got a lot smaller. I used to be a lot bigger than I am. I have lost maybe <laughs> 50 or more pounds from where I was when I was super big. A lot of my now I have big clothes. Uh, a lot of now I'm starting to fit. Before this tight on you. I don't know if you can see my shirt, but this shirt was like really big on me before. That's how far my shoulders. And now it, I, I, now it actually acts like sleeves. Before it was like all the way up here and showed my shoulders, but now they're kind of like sleeves now. So I'm just a big hairy dude. 
So anyways, I'll let you go for now because I'm probably sure that I've ran over 10 minutes. But um, it's this is a lot of fun and we really enjoy making these videos. So we hope that you enjoy watching them and we love you very much. And God bless to everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.